Today I'm making a special order. It's gonna be an end of pot swirl for a, for a client. So in my pot, I already have melted all my oils and my butters. Uh, and they are basically at room temperature. They're around 80 something degrees. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna whisk that around real quick. Thing I'm going to do is I am going to blend in my coconut milk powder. I like coconut milk powder and soap. I think it smells absolutely wonderful. I think it's great for the skin. We're going to blend it in here. It's going to, it's going to be blend. We're going to blend it in it. I'm going to blend it in rather. I want to make sure it's smooth with no lumps. So And next, I'm going to do, a, I'm adding in my room temperature live water. So, move this out the way just for a second. And I am going to add in my live water. So, I was thinking the other day, in order to, 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 to stop so many bubbles, what happens if I just gently take my live water and put it in from the side. I don't think I'll get as many air bubbles in my, in my final product. So, all of my live water is in. Let's stick blend this. to get it too thick too fast I'm just gonna whisk it a little bit I think that should that should make it that should do and so next what I want to do is I'm gonna add in my have my essential oil here I have my this is a blend of peppermint that I put together as the special order I'm gonna shake it up and then I'm gonna pour it into my pot with my wet soap. Put the top back on this. And I'm gonna whisk this together. This smells really, really good. If you're a peppermint lover, you are, you would really enjoy the smell of this soap. So what I am going to do now, for each one of my colorants, so this first color I'm using, I have an orange, uh, it's called Adobe Orange, and it's by Wholesale Supplies Plus. So that's my first color. And my second color is called Evergreen. I don't know if you can see it, how well you can see it. And it's also by uh, Wholesale Supplies Plus, and I really, really like it. up real good. I want to make sure there's no lumps. There was no lumps in my uh, mica before I started, but I want to make sure this is mixed up really well. So I have my first colorant is mixed. Okay. And my second colorant will be mixed. I'm mixing my second color. I don't know. Let me see. You can see me. I'm mixing my second color. And this peppermint smells really, really good. I like peppermint. I like peppermint tea and peppermint candy. I wonder if there was ever been a peppermint soda. 
I don't really drink a lot of soda, but I do like peppermint. Moving this to the side, and here I am adding my titanium dioxide to the to the rest of my soap. Put that in there. I'm gonna scrape it out a little bit here. And that's because I want this color to look very white. Let's whisk this. This is not coming out to be super white, but it's okay. It doesn't have to be. I just wanted it a little lighter than what was, than what the um, combination of the different oils and butter that I was using, because it looked kind of yellowy. And I wanted it to be a little bit more white. So we have that here. And so next we're gonna do, we're gonna create our end of pot swirl. But before we do that, I just wanted to tell you, inside my lye water, before I poured it, I had, of course, I had my distilled water, I had my lye, I had sugar, but I also had, but I also had a little bit of um, sodium lactate. And that was for, to make the soap come out of the mold um, easier. So this is what I consider a slow moving recipe. And because it's slow moving, what happens is it has more soft oils. It will take a little bit longer to um, harden. Normally, what I will do for this particular recipe, I will leave it in the mold for about three days and then I'll take it out. So since today is Wednesday, I'll be taking it out on Saturday. Now let's do our in the pot swirl. I'm gonna be pouring high. And we have here. And, oops, a little bit uneven, but that's okay. And I have a little bit, something something left here. We can use that later. And here, for my second part of my end of pot swirl. I'm gonna make this here, pouring up kinda high. And the other side's gonna be on here, and pouring up kinda on the high side, which is cool. I have a little tiny bit left. I'll use it at the top layer. Put this over here. Now, to create a wonderful swirl, using my big spatula, and I'm gonna take it, because everything dropped to the bottom, and I'm gonna swirl it here, right? And bring it down, and I'm gonna swirl it this way. I'm gonna bring it down. There we go there. And we're gonna, we're gonna, go, we're gonna go, I am going to wiggle back and forth, and we are looking for a beautiful swirl here.
I have my chopsticks and I just want to clean this off just a little bit. It's kind of messy. trying to think of the design I think I want to go back and forth back and forth okay and then yeah it's kind of too loose but it's okay and exactly what I wanted, but I am not going to complain. But in the end, I still think it's going to be a really pretty soap. Not exactly what I wanted, so let me see if I can try something else. This is done. So we are finished. And I thank you for watching. And it has been a great, great experience for me. I hope you enjoyed the broadcast. Um, I'll see you in a couple days when I cut the soap. Thank you. And see you.